years ago when I started my internship, the very first day of my internship at 8 o'clock in the morning, my first patient was a 95-pound little lady who had bug eyes, a big throat, and a pulse rate of 140. Uh, to make a long story short, uh, I had to present that case all throughout the hospital, and I knew thyroid better than anyone in that hospital. And that was my first introduction to how to treat hypothyroidism, and I can summarize a lecture on treatment of hypothyroidism with you give them thyroid, you put the TSH in the middle, and then you walk away and you're finished. Okay, so that's how you treat hypothyroidism, and, and, and any third grader can do that. On the other hand, as time went on, I realized that I really didn't know anything about thyroid. And perhaps what I, the way I was taught and the way I was trained was not necessarily correct. And as I, every day that I live, I come to realize that what I learned first is not necessarily correct and it's not necessarily true. And I've, learning is a painful process sometimes, and I've uh, oftentimes taught one thing and 10 years later taught just the opposite. So a lot of what we're taught and what we're trained is not necessarily true, but the way our brain works is what we're taught first sticks in our brain as truth and anything else that's dip, that differs from that sort of gets rejected by the, the brain as false or not true. So I will have you keep that in mind through all of these lectures that we go through today and this whole entire weekend. On the other hand, I have had so many patients in the years that have taught me how to do thyroid. It's not from a book. It's not from a medical journal article. It's not from a lecture, per se. It's from my patients. And these are some of those examples of those patients. Way back a long time ago, I was starting to have to prescribe hormones to my nursing staff in the ER. And at any one moment, we had 15 women in that ER that were either PMSing, perimenopausing, menopausing, crying, emotional nightmares, who were extremely fatigued after six hours and couldn't get through a 12-hour shift. Those of you that have spent time like that will agree with me that sometimes it's hard to deal or work with those people. But on the other hand, if you can make them feel better and function better, which is what I did, um, you will have them on your side, and it really makes a big difference. In the different courses that I've taught over the years, many physicians have come back, and this weekend is no different, have said to me, um, your, your teaching and training on thyroid has completely changed the life of so many of my patients and the life of my practice. And the way that you do thyroid has completely changed my life, too. And I've had so many patients that have come back to me and said, you gave me my life back. And it doesn't happen with estrogen or progesterone. You can treat hot flashes and night sweats, but no one comes back and says, you gave me my life back. After practicing emergency medicine for over 30 years and saving uh, oodles of lives, I've never had any person come back to me and say, you know, thank you, doctor. You've, you've given me my life back. Thank you so very much. They don't do that. It's only when I treat patients with hormones that they come back and say, thank you so much, you've changed my life, you've given me my life back. And the majority of those patients are patients that feel much better on thyroid. It all started way back when, when a couple nurses said, would you prescribe thyroid for us because they feel better when they take it. And I said, well, why, why, why are you taking it? Well, because Mary gave me her thyroid and it makes us feel better. You've got to be kidding me. No, no, we feel better on this. Well, what are your levels? We don't know what our levels are. We just feel better when we take it. Well, that drove me nuts. What do you mean? You're, you're take, she's giving you her medicine and you're taking it? Shame on you guys. Yeah, but doctor, don't you understand it makes us feel better? I don't care how it makes you feel. <laughs> We're not in business to make you feel better. We're scientists. We treat numbers. What are your numbers? What are your levels? If your levels are fine, did you have your levels tested? Yeah, my levels are fine. Then you shouldn't be taking this. Why shouldn't we be taking it if it makes us feel better? I can work 12 hours on thyroid and I can work six hours off of it. What don't you understand about that, doctor? Patient, what don't you understand about you shouldn't do that, you don't need it, listen to me, I know I'm an expert in thyroid. Well, as time went on, Mary gave Susie, who gave Kathy, who gave everyone else their thyroid to take because it made them feel better. And they all said, hey, you know what? It does make us feel better. 
drove me nuts. Hey, would you prescribe this for us? No, I won't prescribe it for you, and I don't know what it is that you're talking about, this natural stuff. No, 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 no. You don't need that. You don't want that. It doesn't work. So I've got arrows on my back, too, from other doctors that when I finally started realizing that I was doing it incorrectly, and they had the same reactions that I did. No, I know it. You guys don't know it. And this is the way you do it. I'm an expert on it. Shut up. You don't need it. Well, over a period of time, I finally gave in after them making carrot cake, German chocolate cake, and what all. I agreed to prescribe thyroid for them, and lo and behold, they told other nurses, and the other nurses told other nurses, and the other nurses told other nurses, and suddenly everyone was lined up outside my office door wanting this natural thyroid stuff. It drove me nuts. So finally, it sort of provoked ire in the medical staff, and I finally had to give a lecture or grand rounds on why I was using this natural progesterone, this natural estrogen, this natural thyroid, and why everyone in the hospital, nursing staff-wise, was putting me on a pedestal and saying how great I made them feel, which, of course, provoked more ire in the doctors because if I'm making them feel good, it must be, I must be doing something wrong or something I shouldn't be doing because that's not what we do. So I finally had to research why this was happening. Why were they all feeling well? Why were they switching from that thyroid to this one and feeling better? And then when they weren't on thyroid and took this one, it made them feel better and their levels were normal. That's not the way I was taught or trained and it really sort of drove me nuts. So what do I do with these folks? Well, finally after seeing and treating about 500 patients, I realized either the way I was taught and trained was incorrect or all of them are wrong. Well, they were not wrong. I was perhaps didn't quite understand what I was taught or trained was perhaps not correct or right, even though I thought that it was because what I learned first had to be true. I mean, people at UCLA could not be teaching me the wrong way. Well, they might have. I was lecturing at a medical academy meeting that was for family physicians, and there was a doctor there that questioned what I was doing and why I was doing what I was doing, and he later confided in me later that he was an endocrinologist, and he said, you know, everything that you've taught and you've presented is all evidence-based, and we all realize that so many of our patients that we treat with thyroid don't get better. They don't feel better. But that's what we do because that's what our peers expect us to do. But you now have sort of taught and trained me that I will change my practice because now I understand that optimization of hormones, no matter which hormone it is, has health benefits to it and has feel-good benefits to it. And this is an introduction, sort of a um, journal club, as to hopefully educating you as to optimization of thyroid. Many of you are already doing this. You know it. You've said, boy, it's made big differences. Some of you may not have any clue as to what this is all about.